Many years have passed since Airbus unveiled its latest marvel, the A321 XLR, a game-changing aircraft renowned for its remarkable range. Airbus consistently captivates the aviation community with its innovative designs, and the latest release that is being planned is no different. The aviation world is abuzz with anticipation, focused on this revolutionary aircraft concept. So, what makes this aircraft so captivating? How does it compare to its predecessors? Let's find out the answer in today's episode. Since its debut in the market, Airbus has continuously led the way in innovation, creating diverse aircraft to meet every market demand, from regional jets like the A220 to colossal masterpieces like the A380. However, Airbus continues beyond these achievements. This European manufacturer has just announced plans to develop an entirely new generation of aircraft aiming to surpass current limits on fuel efficiency and environmental protection. So how did Airbus begin implementing this program? Airbus initiated discussions with Rolls-Royce to develop the next generation of narrow-body aircraft promising to redefine the standards of sustainability and operational efficiency in the aviation industry. At the 2024 Farnborough Air Show, Airbus unveiled its vision for the future. It revealed a close collaboration with Rolls-Royce to create a more compact version of the Ultrafan engine in preparation for the next generation of narrow-body jets. Tun Enron BC, the CEO of Rolls-Royce, said this collaboration was a significant step towards what he calls the future of narrow-body aircraft engines. He stated that this new engine technology, with breakthroughs in fuel efficiency and reduced emissions, will play a key role in the next generation of aircraft. This announcement quickly captured the attention of industry experts who are eagerly awaiting how Airbus will apply these advanced technologies to create an aircraft capable of operating entirely on sustainable aviation fuels, SAF, an important move in the aviation industry's efforts to reduce carbon emissions. Airbus is not limited to gradually upgrading its existing fleet. It is also making significant investments in a revolutionary technology that has the potential to completely transform the aviation industry, hydrogen propulsion. With its ambitious program named Zero, Airbus aims to pioneer a new era of green aviation by introducing commercial aircraft powered by hydrogen, significantly reducing carbon emissions and promoting the decarbonization of the entire industry. Wait, I have a question for you. Are you concerned about aircraft emissions when flying? Please leave your thoughts in the comments. As part of its hydrogen initiative, Airbus has unveiled four groundbreaking aircraft prototypes, each showcasing different designs and technologies to optimize hydrogen usage. The first prototype is a hydrogen-powered turbofan engine, resembling a traditional jet aircraft but operating on hydrogen combustion technology. This design is particularly suited for long-haul flights providing the range and speed that airlines expect from conventional aircraft while ensuring zero emissions. The second prototype is a turboprop variant that employs hydrogen combustion technology in a more compact and efficient engine configuration, making it ideal for shorter regional routes where lower speed and range are acceptable trade-offs for enhanced sustainability. Among the four prototypes introduced by Airbus, the blended wing body BWB design is perhaps the most impressive. This aircraft combines the wings and fuselage into a seamless aerodynamic shape, significantly enhancing fuel efficiency compared to traditional designs. With the BWB structure, air resistance is minimized, allowing the aircraft to have additional interior space to safely and efficiently store hydrogen fuel tanks. This design not only provides benefits in flight performance, but also demonstrates Airbus's innovation in aircraft engineering, as it is willing to explore and optimize every aspect to align with hydrogen propulsion technology. The blended wing body design not only enhances the efficiency of hydrogen fuel storage and distribution within the aircraft structure, but also addresses one of the biggest challenges in designing hydrogen-powered aircraft, how to safely and efficiently store such a highly flammable fuel. Finally, Airbus has introduced a completely electric aircraft model that uses hydrogen fuel cells to generate power. This aircraft is designed as a testbed for hybrid electric engine systems where hydrogen fuel cells produce electricity to power electric motors. Although this prototype is still in the experimental stage and is suitable only for short flights, it represents a significant advancement in the effort towards an emissions-free aviation industry. The main goal of the Zero program is to develop and launch the world's first commercial hydrogen-powered aircraft by 2035, a timeline that is both ambitious and urgent. 
To achieve this goal, Airbus is working tirelessly to tackle the technical challenges associated with hydrogen propulsion. These challenges include safely storing and transporting liquid hydrogen at extremely low temperatures, as well as building the necessary infrastructure to support hydrogen refueling. However, Airbus understands that bringing hydrogen-powered aircraft to the market is not simply about perfecting the technology, but also about building a comprehensive ecosystem to sustain hydrogen as a viable energy source for the aviation industry. This relates to establishing a global supply chain for the production, distribution, and storage of hydrogen, as well as collaborating with airports, energy companies, and government agencies to develop the necessary infrastructure for hydrogen refueling. Additionally, Airbus has cooperated with the top hydrogen producers and invested in research facilities to explore improvements in hydrogen storage and transportation. They have also established dedicated development centers across Europe, including in France, the UK, Germany, and Spain, with each center focusing on different aspects of hydrogen technology, such as fuel cell development and cryogenic tank design. So what is the significance of this program? Airbus's Zero program is not only a new aircraft concept, but marks a comprehensive shift in how the aviation industry approaches sustainability. Airbus envisions a future where hydrogen-powered aircraft operate alongside traditional fuel-based planes, creating a hybrid fleet that gradually reduces the industry's carbon footprint. To advance this goal, the company is appealing for global regulatory support and policy frameworks that promote the use of green hydrogen and ensure its availability at competitive prices. The modified A380 test aircraft, named MSN-1, is being used to trial and refine these new technologies. Airbus is exploring both hydrogen combustion technology and hybrid hydrogen fuel cell systems, offering two potential pathways to revolutionize aircraft propulsion. When combined with a hybrid electric propulsion system, this aircraft has the potential to set a new standard for efficiency and sustainability in the aviation industry. Furthermore, Airbus is rethinking the materials used in aircraft manufacturing. The company is researching new, lighter, and stronger materials that can meet the unique demands of hydrogen propulsion while minimizing environmental impact. These future materials will be multifunctional, integrating various capabilities such as heat resistance and electrical conductivity directly into the structure. The focus on sustainability extends beyond the aircraft itself, encompassing the entire production process and end-of-life handling to ensure that Airbus planes leave a smaller environmental footprint throughout their life cycle. With these advancements, Airbus is preparing for the next era of environmentally friendly aviation. Airbus clearly isn't afraid to push boundaries, whether through hydrogen propulsion, hybrid electric systems, or new aircraft designs like the blended wing body. If successful, these innovations could forever change the way we think about flying. Hydrogen-powered aviation, while promising for reducing carbon emissions, introduces other environmental considerations. One of the key byproducts of hydrogen combustion is water vapor, which in certain atmospheric conditions can contribute to global warming. Specifically, when water vapor is released at high altitudes, as it would be with aircraft, it can form contrails and cirrus clouds, which can trap heat in the Earth's atmosphere, potentially contributing to the greenhouse effect. This is a growing area of study, as the long-term impact of water vapor on climate is complex and depends on factors like altitude, temperature, and humidity. To reach a zero carbon footprint, achieving this goal is more complicated when considering the full life cycle of aircraft. While hydrogen fuel itself produces no carbon dioxide during combustion, the broader carbon footprint of hydrogen aviation depends on how the hydrogen is produced, for instance, whether it's derived from renewable sources known as green hydrogen, or from fossil fuels like blue or gray hydrogen. Additionally, the manufacturing process of aircraft involves significant energy consumption, often derived from carbon-emitting sources. This includes mining raw materials, manufacturing components, assembling aircraft, and creating the hydrogen infrastructure, such as production plants and fueling systems. Finally, Waste management during the production and end-of-life disposal of aircraft can generate emissions and environmental impact. Even sustainable materials require energy-intensive processes for production, recycling, or disposal. Therefore, while hydrogen-powered aviation may significantly reduce in-flight carbon emissions, achieving a truly zero-carbon footprint requires holistic changes across the entire supply chain, manufacturing process, and energy infrastructure. 
In summary, while hydrogen has the potential to decarbonize aviation in terms of operational emissions, achieving a zero carbon footprint would necessitate addressing the environmental impacts of water vapor emissions, the energy sources for hydrogen production, and the full life cycle of the aircraft from manufacturing to disposal. What's your take? Could hydrogen truly be the future of aviation, or will traditional jet fuel remain the dominant force? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date with the latest aviation news and trends, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share it with fellow aviation enthusiasts. Thanks for watching, and I hope you always have safe flights.